Well, hello there guys and welcome to another episode of Ollie's Farm and today you join me with the brand new Honda 4 Trucks 420 delivered fresh today on the farm, brand new. Uh, the old one has been traded in and what this is used for on the farm is checking the cows down at the marshes and it's basically dad's legs because uh, as some of you might know his dad's got two um, artificial hips and he uses the quad bike every single day to get around the farm so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just fitting uh, a new um, just about to go and fit a wing mirror on the quad bike because we use a wing mirror so that when dad's going around the farm he can see what's going on behind him um, but I thought I'll just take it out and I'll do a video about it and I'll see what sort of see what we think of it and see uh, how, how it's gonna get on on the farm and compare it with the old one so being a 420 it's a 420 cc Honda petrol motor inside there and um, it's got a top speed of roughly 80 kph however that can it can, that can differ uh, depending on which model you've got and how you've had it expect etc on this particular model it's four wheel drive the gear shifting is done on these electric buttons here and the revs are controlled on this side throttle here so if you're a farmer or you're involved in the farming industry and you're looking to purchase a quad bike, I'll be giving this a full review and uh, but we'll be having a look over it. As you can see, we've got some AT24 by 10 to 11 tyres on the back. They are tubeless and they're good and chunky for off-road purposes. As well, the fronts, they're slightly different. Again, they're Maxxises and they're AT24 by 8 hyphen 12s. And uh, they've all been uh, filled up with the special gunk inside them so that when they if they get a puncture for whatever reason the, the idea is that the gunk is supposed to stop the punctures from happening to go into the rear of the bike here as we can see we've got a tow bar for pulling trailers around that'll be very handy indeed for towing our trailers around and we've got a little storage area in the back as well so without further ado we'll give it a test and see how we get on with it turning the ignition on here now and we've got the start button here gears are selected on the arrows to the left up and down then to go into reverse you have to pull this push the brake pull the brake lever in sorry and then invert down on the button and bang you're in reverse i've been told uh, that these aren't actually made in japan anymore these particular mo models they still they do still make some in japan honda um, but they're actually now made in california in america for the american market and then they're shipped over here to the uk so that's something different uh, i didn't know so they're actually made by americans now turnips as you can see there's a, a water deer just right in front of me there it's quick so as you can see at the moment we're out on the X ryegrass field here and uh, we're just poodling along at a nice pace it seems to be really comfortable actually in comparison to the old one I don't know if they've done something to the suspension or something So as I'm sure you can see, I'm now at the top of the farm here on our lovely ryegrass field, uh, which hasn't done that many cuts this year. It's only done one and the other two cuts I had to top off with our topper. So uh, it's gonna be mucked and then plowed in. Um, now going back to the quad bike here, I've just been taking it steady. So if you are watching dad, don't worry, I've been taking it steady. Obviously got to run it in. Um, it's really nice. It seems more comfortable than the old one. I, I would definitely say that, I think they've done something to the suspension something has been changed to make the ride more comfortable that's why I've noticed over the older model we used to have there's four gears when you go up there you go five gears upwards going forwards and just one reverse gear there we go as simple as that 
The, you can also get an, a fully automatic version, should you so wish. Obviously we've still got the four-wheel drive selector here, two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive, just at the push of a lever. So I love going to this part of the farm up here because it's really quiet and peaceful and uh, yeah, it's quite nice to get away from it already. So this is the farm's new quad bike. Uh, hopefully it'll be a good quad bike to have on the farm and I'm sure it should serve us well for many, many years, hopefully. So if you've enjoyed today's video guys, do give it a thumbs up and you can follow the Ollie's Farm Instagram page, which is just ollies.farm. And don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe for any more videos. Yeah. Yeah.